Hello, in this video we will see how to create repository in GitHub, how to clone the repository in the local system or laptop, how to make changes to the files uh, in the repository in local system and, and sync those files back to GitHub repository that we created. For this we would need the uh, git, uh, uh, we, we would need git in the system and also a GitHub account. So make sure that you have Git installed as well as you have a GitHub account. If you don't have a, a, a GitHub account, we can go to GitHub site and sign up for GitHub. I already have my GitHub account. So let me sign in to my account. Okay, I am in my GitHub account and in order to create the repository, I would go here besides the plus sign and click on it and it says new repository. Click on it. And this under the repository name, type the name of the repository. In this case, I would type it as git test1 give some description which best describes the, uh, purpose, the, uh, the purpose of the repository although this is optional but we will just give as a test uh, you might want to select uh, whether it's public or private it's public and check on the initialize this repository with uh, readme in this case uh, what it would do is it would create a readme which can describe uh, this repository or, or give an introduction about this click on create repository we see that our repository is created now it's time to um, uh, uh, clone this repository in our local system and in order to do that uh, we will copy this clone URL on the uh, right uh, right hand bottom corner and copy this and let's go to the uh, um, command line okay so we, we, we are going to use a few of the git commands to um, uh, to clone as well as to push it back uh, to the github uh, repository and uh, first of all make sure that you browse to the directory where you want this repository to be cloned I want this to be on desktop so uh, I am already in the uh, um, at the location where I would like to clone this repository type git clone and paste the URL this way uh, the uh, the repository will be cloned from github to uh, my desktop and i can see that by using um, ls command and i see that we have uh, git test one repository created in um, at the desktop okay so next what we want to do is um, ls git test one and we see that there is a readme.md file in it which is this file which we had in the github say for example um, I want to edit this file let's go ahead and edit this file sorry I need to go to the repository okay and I have readme md file let's use vie command to edit this file okay suppose this is a test file okay I'm done with the changes save the file and so what we have now is an updated file we 
cloned the repository from github to our system we had one file readme.md and we changed this file uh, we updated the file and put some text in it and what we need to do now is to send it or, or sync it back to the repository so that uh, the repository in github and uh, the files or the repository in in our local system is synced is in sync or basically um, github has the latest information whatever we have um, in our local system uh, the, the the common command which we are going to use is a status command to see what's the status and let us type git status and we see that uh, it shows that there was a file read.md and which was modified and it says no changes added to commit uh, use git add so what we are going to do is we are going to use this command git add and uh, add this file so that um, it's uh, it's ready to commit okay git add and I would do all you can also use the name of the file git add followed by the file name okay let us again check on the status git status and it says that changes to be committed means we are ready to commit the change uh, what basically uh, uh, commit would do is it would lock the file so that no further changes could be made and it would be ready to uh, be pushed to the github repository so I will say git commit followed by hyphen m and uh, a message updated the readme file okay so uh, the file is committed and uh, it's locked and uh, ready to be pushed to github site and so we will use git push okay the file is pushed and if i refresh I see that the github now has an updated readme.md file and it is uh, and the changes which we did in this file is uh, being reflected here that means we just uh, we just synced our files our repositories from um, um, the local system to github site uh, now say for example if I want to um, um, edit this file here so suppose I want to edit this file and I add another sentence here this is change from github okay I would save the file commit the changes Okay, I made the changes now uh, since I made the change in github um, we wouldn't see this these changes in um, in the file which we uh, in the read in the readme file which we had in the um, uh, in the local system so what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, in order for the local system to have this file we need to pull the uh, data from the repository so what we would do is get pull that way uh, the local system will also have the updated version of the file so if I do vi we see that we now have in our local system the updated file from git web github website so with this we saw uh, we created a repository in in github website and also we um, we cloned the uh, the repository in our local system we made changes to the files in the local system and we moved we pushed the uh, those updated files to github we also made uh, changes to the file uh, directly in the uh, github uh, site and then pulled it in our local system 
we tried our uh, changing the files um, in the local system changing the files in github and tried syncing it so 